and uh, we do this every year at this time with people from all over the world and, and all over the country. People are here from Dublin and from Australia and where else? Who else has come from around the place? You're from, uh, from the UK or from the Netherlands? From the Netherlands? <laughs> where are you from? You're from Sweden? All right, so they come from, and you're from Canada? Canada? Portugal. Portugal? They're from all over the United States and from around the world and some from foreign places too, like Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> you had a question. How do you keep the relative in the past and not in your present space? Because you said as soon as you declare what you, who you are, all that is not comes in. This is about the law of opposites. Let's talk just a bit about the law of opposites, shall we? Uh, the law of opposites says that whatever you declare for yourself uh, will, will uh, produce the exact opposite experience in your reality, it, that you will draw to you the opposite of what you've declared. That no sooner will you declare a thing to be true and its exact opposite will come into the space of your life. The law of opposites. Uh, and that is because, as CWG teaches, in the absence of that which you are not, that which you are is not. In order for you to experience what you are, that which you are not must be present in your environment. In order for you to experience yourself, let's use a metaphor, as the light, there must be darkness. That is the wonderful metaphor that makes up the core of the story of the little soul in the sun. And it's an astonishingly clear metaphor because we begin to understand a deep wisdom and a great truth through such a small metaphor. You cannot be the light unless there is darkness. If there is nothing but the light, you are as a candle in the sun and cannot know yourself as the light. If your greatest desire is to know yourself as the light, you will call forth the darkness. That We've all gotten to a place where we have mastered internally ways and methods of shifting our experience of an external condition. But I can tell you the fastest way to do it. Whatever you wish to experience for yourself, cause yourself to be the source of it in the life of another. Because that which flows through you sticks to you. He was an old hand at living and making his way. He smelled like old whiskey and he needed a shave. His home was an alley off 8th Avenue. But if you had a minute or an hour or two,